Good morning. Yeah. Good stuff. You know what? Uh, y'all two are on that book y'all calls this week. That's why y'all programs are up for next week already. So, so yeah, everybody else getting that shit gonna be generalized next week. So they mad. Oh well, book these calls. I'll update their program. That's about it. We got one more minute. We're gonna get this thing rolling. Get this thing moving. Uh, Bravo, were y'all talking about how you was on IG clown? Yes, the me. Yes. <laughs> so, go what ahead. Happened? What was you about to say? Well, I was about to say that I started watching. I said that he, I know he finna cut up and you like, cause you know, the women can't take the constructive criticism. Bravo. Don't say that. Cause you know, I can take the constructive I, criticism. I, hold on. We, remember, <laughs> you gotta take your own personal experience out of it. I'm talking from a generalized standpoint, the alarming majority of women cannot take constructive, honest criticism. So I said, I don't need on my lives. I will always get that disclaimer so they don't feel attacked. So people that can take it, it's all gravy. It's cool. Just apply that to you as well if you meet if the shoe fits. But as long as I do lives moving forward, I'm going to always give a disclaimer. I'm not talking about women. I'm going to talk about men. Even though I would like to talk to the majority, but if I say this, that I'm only talking about men, a lot of women won't feel attacked. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. I don't want them to feel attacked. As soon as I be like everyone, they're going to be like, oh, he talking about me. He body shaming me. Like, no, this is the a majority of people. So if I just say women, no. Not talking about y'all. Like, they won't feel no harm. So I'm not trying to get canceled or strikes against me for just being, telling the truth. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all nah, it is. I feel you. And I feel you, and I, you know I'm giving you a hard time, but, but all jokes aside, I, I'm gonna talk to you because we should do a live kind of like the one you and um you and TJ did, Yo, you know. That's how I'm so we that. should talk about that. I'm with that. Oh, so, so look, we could do it soon. Me, I look. Cause I say I'm about to start. Uh, I'm going live every Friday the rest of mm -hmm. this year since we're in the fourth quarter, and I'm going to um uh, I'm thinking about doing one on. Monday, my probably I'm gonna see how much work I get done uh today and tomorrow so I can jump on that uh Monday after noon uh at uh Monday evening. So yeah, man, I'm about to just probably going live more and like just kind of just talk about it, you know, see who who trying to hear about it. But uh it's four quarter, we gotta go hard. You feel me? Yeah, and I can I can talk to the women. <laughs> yeah, you talk to them, so they don't come for me. All right, your man say anything about a woman, it's a wrap, you know. But uh, I y'all, it's um, it's the new month. It is October first. You feel me? It's the first September's over. We have three months left to close out this year with amazing changes and results. All right, so what wins we got for September this previous week, Tanisha? Let's start with you. Um. This week was actually pretty great, especially after coming back from last week. Um, mentally, just in a great space, um, except for yesterday's flight, but we won't talk about that. But um, just consistent. Um, I even went out one night, but the next morning I heard Bravo, so. I went to a, a cycle class and did some miles on the treadmill and treadmill is the last thing I ever want to do. So um, it's all some changes in my measurements this week. So I'm just, I'm on a high, I'm on a high and I'm loving it and I'm ready to kick ass this week. And, and yeah, that's it. Oh, that's how you end the damn month off. Damn, going to the new month with high momentum. Tiff, what you got for me, baby? Damn. So first of all, go, Tanisha. You go, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah. I am celebrating, one, listening to my body, and also, like, trusting the fact that my body is 
the, my capacity is expanding and I can go a little bit harder. Um, I was telling Bravo that I've been doing the Stairmaster and I started off like doing three and now I'm up, I can do like six and seven. Um, all of my clothes yeah, are fitting go, looser. <laughs> like even some jeans that I had on, I know I couldn't wear these jeans, okay, last month. Mm-hmm. I put them on one time and then I put them on again. They getting, um, the waistline is getting looser and looser. Um, yeah, but you know, Bravo and I had a talk um, during my accountability call and I, I had a down moment. And after that call, I feel like I just been taking off, feeling good, feeling like myself, ready to just like do the damn thing. Damn, that's what I like to hear. Marky, what it do? <laughs> okay, good morning, everybody. Um, I had a very um busy week um with work. I think I worked probably. 12 to 14 hours every day this week. Um, so um, my accomplishment is just being able to get through my workouts. So I, despite it all, I still finished all my workouts. I'm exhausted. <laughs> That's why I'm a little late to the call. I actually am just woke up and was like, oh God, I got to get on the call. Yes. So it's just been a very exhausting week week but I you know was able to do what I needed to do and I stayed on track with my um, my eating so for me those are wins because normally me working those long hours I would have said forget it oh, but wow. and then you know oh, then wow. yeah Gail is here so she actually was able to uh, help push me to help me get back you know we pushed, helped each other get in the gym so Oh, I love it. I love to hear it. That's what I'm talking about. Good shit. That's what I'm talking about. Even when you have a busy week and a lot of stuff on your plate, you're still getting it done. That's conditioning, right? Which leads me to our topic of the RAS. I don't know if y'all ever heard of the RAS, the reticular activating system. I heard about it years ago, like a long time ago, but um, it just resurfaced up and some stuff I've been like studying and watching. And basically, the reticul- the reticulating activating system is basically like your subconscious attracting things that you think about the most, right? I know we talk about law of attraction, uh, attracting things what we want in our minds, and we speak it and see it. That's how we see it. So the greatest example I can give you is think about, you know, um, uh, this one I heard this guy use. Uh, when you see a car, like you buy a car or somebody gets a new car, if you start seeing that car everywhere else, right? It's like showing up, you're like, man, like everybody got this car done. No, it's like your brain has so much information, uh, sensory information on a daily basis and your brain has to filter things out. That's why y'all can hear someone say your name in a crowd of a thousand people. Some of them are like, hey, Janisha, hey, Marky, hey, Tiff. And y'all be like, huh, who called me? Because your brain knows your name, you hear so often, it's conditioned to filter out that name whenever it's heard in a loud place, right? Because people looking for you, you like, hey, somebody calling me, right? That's your RAS system. It's filtering out your name, so it attracts that once it hears it. So the same thing goes with our goals and things that we want, right? You know, I always get on y'all and I be like, hey, don't trip when you're having a tough week or things going on when life happens, when you hit that resistance and you feel like you're being knocked back. And I say, don't go to that, that low point. You create a new low, but don't go to your lower low uh, from before. Basically, that's me telling y'all, another way of telling y'all, don't fall into the mindset that you had before you started getting these games, right? And that's why I say, don't complain. Because when we complain about stuff, what happens? We find more shit to complain about. Our RAS is now filtering out things that make us complain about something. You be like, oh man, um, man, I sense there's women on here. Oh man, my psycho, I'm tired, I'm stressed out, I'm irritated. And you be like, all right, man, I don't want to go to the gym. Now you like, now you ain't going to the gym. All right, now, man, I don't want, I, I don't, I don't feel like eating right. I'm gonna eat trash. And you trash. So then you complain about eating trash. You complain about not going to the gym. You complain about everything, right? So when y'all have y'all cycles coming, don't trip. Oh man, I'm like, look, I'm tired, but it don't matter. But in my mind, I'm gonna still say, hey, I still can like mentally train myself to only see the good. The best example for myself, because I do this all the time. I used to get angry in traffic, right? So I say, I don't even want to 
uh, condition myself to be upset about more stuff. So, hey, every time I get upset and something happens bad in my life, and it bring, makes me feel sad. If I want to like get so frustrated, I tear up. I like, I like whatever emotional reaction I do, I yell out, why is everything always working out for me? You know? Damn, I almost knocked the shit off. <laughs> I say stuff like that because negative emotions has a lot of gravitational pull. I know we want to be positive and uh, you know, like be po positive and influential other people, but the world is primarily negative. I know we don't like this is the, that truth, but it's a fact. You know, like we have more negative people, more negative energy in the world. So that large, so that's why I say it has such a larger gravitational pull. When you're around negative people, and you like, I'm a very optimistic person. Y'all know that. So it's like when I'm around someone, and subconsciously, I'm being conditioned to be negative. People complain about stuff that they don't want to make changes about. This is what I'm going to talk about on Monday on the live. They don't want, like, you give them uh, solutions because I'm a solution-oriented person. You give them solutions and they don't want your solutions. They just want to vent. When people say they want to just vent, get the hell away from me because they only want to complain, right? They don't want to do nothing about it. They want to get out their chest, but they don't want to do nothing about it. They just want to complain about it, which leads to attracting more things to complain about. They find the littlest things to complain about, like the, the, the popular saying, if it's not one thing, it's another, because their, their subconscious is looking for more shit to complain about. So when we have such a strong gravitational pull of negative energy, you have to train yourself to get those people out your way, get them out of your life. Hey, if it's a loved one, it's your boo thing, it's a close friend, it's a parent, hey, you have to protect your positive energy. You want to attract more stuff because if you don't, you're going to go down that same path. You won't even know that why I'm saying so much stuff that just annoys me. Like why are people just agitate me? Because your, your brain is filtering out shit that makes you complain about it, right? It's like you're training and conditioning it to, com to find only shit that's negative. But when you think about only the good stuff that's going on, give more praise and energy. So even when you get upset about something, some bad happens, uh, prime example, Tanisha, when she was like, you know, she was going through stuff with her business, like they hold, they back order and stuff. Man, that's perfect time to be like, man, you know what? Things always working out for me. Even if she's sad, just speak it out. Like change the language of what you're putting out into the world because you want your subconscious to only see the good things. So you say that, that like with that negative emotion, that like that negativity, that I won't even say it, call it negative, but those emotions erupting inside and want to come out. But when you speak out something that's affirming only good stuff, like I said, when I'm angry, man, everything always working out for my favor. Everything always works out for me. Like I, I can't even, look, I can't even BS y'all. Like I done been through some shit in my life. Y'all be like, like, bro, I would, most people would fall and fold, but I don't talk about it because I have a belief that everything always works out for me. And it always does because why our beliefs have consequences, whether it's a negative consequence or a positive consequence. So if you only believe that they ain't no, they only got trash people in the world, like, man, like you're going to only see trash people in the world. If you believe that you can't reach your goal, that you can't be consistent, that you can't be disciplined. If you can't follow instructions, if you believe that, you're going to always be that way. And you be like, okay, but I only do, I'm only like this in my fitness because you hate fitness. You hate being healthy. You want to be healthy. You say, but I want this. I want that. But must you have it? You have the mindset that I must be healthy. I must be fine as hell. You feel me? I must look good. That's what I think all the time. I must, like, people are waiting for me to get fat. Y'all don't understand. There's people sitting around waiting for probably to get fat. I can't do that shit. So I must look good as fuck all the time. You got to look good. If I don't look good, it's going to crush me. So that's why every day I'm like, bro, don't eat that, bro. Oh, you ate, you ate some sweets? I got to go run six miles. Because why? I know there's a, I have a belief that there's people out there waiting for Bravo to look like trash. So it inspires me every day. I got to look good as fuck. I got to look amazing. Oh, flexing on these suckers. You feel me? So that's a belief I have. So, I, so I'm always motivated to be in the gym. I find pleasure in putting my body through strenuous exercise, being sore. I find that's my pleasure, right? 
So you all have to condition your mindsets like, hey, I love the way I feel after I do a hard workout. I love the way I look after I do a hard workout. I love being sweaty after my workout. I love feeling exhausted after my workout. Why? Because now you find an excitement with the pain that comes with your workout. And this pain will eventually become your pleasure. And then your pleasure that you once had will become your pain, which is like eating out all the time, drinking all the time, but not doing the necessary stuff to get rid of those empty calories, uh, skipping workouts, watching TV all day, fucking off on your time. When you, those are going to become pain points in your life. Cause you're like, oh man, I ain't go to the gym today. I feel like trash. But before you'd be like, oh, I can skip the gym today. You'll be like, you'll be cool with it, right? You'll go do some of those things that you found pleasurable. But now you condition yourself like, I love what the gym makes, how the gym makes me feel. Marky, talking about, hey, I, I had a long, exhausting week, but I still got to the gym. Isn't that an amazing feeling? Once you like the end of the week, you're like, ah, oh, I had a long week, but I went to the motherfucking gym every day. You know, ah, oh, I feel good about it. But if you don't go, you're like, man, Damn, I feel like trash. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't hit the gym today. Because your RAS, the reticular activating system, is now filtering out activities that you do that say, hey, man, this is going to be painful if I don't go to the gym, if I don't eat better, right? When you look like, oh, man, I got a friend of mine that she loves eating damn, uh, going to brunch and just wilding out on mimosas and shit, right? And she like, she be like, man, I know I got to fix my eat, but she don't want it bad enough. She is not, it's a want, but it's not a must because she like, she must have that, those mimosas and that brunch, that's high calorie, bad food. And she will rather go rest and relax instead of go doing the workout. So when you have that, she's conditioned her mindset to only want those unhealthy things, but she doesn't see it. She doesn't see skipping her workouts and skipping uh, eating better as a pain point. So the only way to get out of that, you have to start focusing more on conditioning your RAS to sit, to want better for yourself. Because like I say, your, your uh, beliefs have consequences, all right? So what we're going to do is an exercise. What up, Frank? We're going to do an exercise, uh, if you can, if you can write, but if not, try to remember this or just watch this replay. Um, I want everybody to think about their goal, right? We have our goals for the fourth quarter because it's fourth quarter, baby. We got three months left, fourth quarter. So what the, what the goal is, we're going to create a goal. And for this goal, I want you to think about what, what must I do to make this goal impossible to not reach? Right, like everything I do, like if I if I do everything that's on this list, it will become impossible not to reach this goal, right? And that's like being more specific since we're talking about health. Let's talk about, uh -oh. so if we're talking about health, we talk. Let's talk about I I want to be healthy. Everybody want to be healthy, but shit, we have a eighty plus percent of unhealthy people. <clears throat> you feel me? So it's just, it's like I said, people say it, but their actions don't follow because why they have trained their subconscious to only see the negative stuff. I hate working out. I don't like to, my body hurt. You're going to always see the negative. So you're going to avoid doing it because your brain is all about taking the path of least resistance and not doing the things that we are uncomfortable with. Our body wants, our brain wants us to just go through survival. So if you're okay with being a slob, if you're okay being unhappy with the way you look when you look in the mirror, if you're okay with just being not attracted, attractable to the people that you want to be attracted that are that you're attracted to, you can't be mad when things aren't going your way because why you're not willing to make the sacrifices to get there. Les Brown had a quote that I still love: "If you do what is easy, your life will be hard." If you do what is hard, your life will be easy. Example, I'll use myself. I like working out because I know what the benefits of working out. I don't like going to the doctors. I don't like medication. So therefore, just I don't like those are pain points for me. I go to the gym. That's why I find passion and excitement and love when I'm in the gym. You feel me? Because it excites me the way I look. You know, I like hot women with big butts. 
So therefore, I know what big butt women like. Money and muscles. The M, M squared, money and muscles. So guess what? I'm chasing this bag while gaining these muscles. So therefore, that's why I know I'm gonna attract, I'm only gonna attract that. Big booty women love me. They love Bravo. Why? Because Bravo does what they like. Chasing the bag, having a body. Whatever y'all like, you going to attract it, but you got to condition your brain to only see that, right? So that's got to have the belief. So when y'all make these goals, you got to say like, hey, I want to be healthier. I want to be, no, I want to, Marky has a goal that's come, that's her end date is in November. So it's November what, 11th? It's November 11th? Yep, November 11th. Right, see, I'm going to be on it. Marky has a goal that ends on November 11th. So her goal, since she has an end date, that end date is important. I want to be down, it's October 1st, I want to be down an additional 12 pounds and 3% less body fat by November 11th, right? She could get even more specific. I want toner arms, a leaner back, slimmer face, whatever it may be, flatter stomach by this date. So if you write that goal down and write out everything that comes along with this goal, so she got her end goal, right? So now we're going to reverse engineer it. She got an end goal. By, got the end date and the end goal of everything she wants to have by this date. So how, how do we get there? We reverse engineer it. Okay. To achieve that goal, she got to eat less calories, but healthy calories, right? She got to burn more calories than she intake. She also has to eat lean food. She can't be doing excessive drinking. She can't do excessive uh, sodium or um, empty calories. You know, bad, unsaturated uh, foods. So she has to stay on top of that. She has to exercise consistently for at least 45 minutes an hour, four to five days a week. She got to do her cardio, right? She has to rest, get sleep. She has to avoid negative people. People make bad decisions that's going to interrupt her from achieving her goal, right? So if she does everything on that list that I just listed out, I guarantee you she'll be down. 12 pounds, 3% body fat, by that goal. Why? Because those go those steps will make it impossible for her not to reach that goal. Like, see, there's no way she cannot reach that goal if she does all of those steps, right? That's a specific goal, all right? So y'all exercise for this week and y'all exercise for today. God damn it, I want you to do it today. Exercise for the day is write out your goals for the fourth quarter. You feel me? Four quarter goals to win them. Four quarter, y'all. God damn it, we got to come here to play. All right, if you want to win this year, we got to win the fourth quarter because that's the only quarter that matters. All right, so write your goal down. Remove all that vague, bull BS. All right, I want specific. What must I do that will make it impossible for me not to reach this goal? What are the steps must I take to make it impossible? God damn it, I say impossible, not possibly make it but impossible not to make it right impossible not to make it that means and you do everything on this list that you write down like i said about if marky's uh about for mark if you do everything on there right you're gonna reach that goal i said i wanted to make i'm gonna tell you how this goddamn goal fuck it. i said you know what i was looking for these investors but i said no nah, i'm not gonna do that i said how can i make a certain amount of money say 7k in the month of october right and I was like, I wrote it down. I said, I could look out outwardly for other people to like invest in me or whatnot. But I said, nah, it's bullshit because I don't need any outside activity when I have everything I need already on the inside of me. You know what started happening? Two days after I said that, this is how real this shit is. Two days after I said that, I got this training program, right? That told, that taught, that got me back on reprogramming my RAS. Like I say, this stuff just came back to me, even though I saw it years ago. I started writing down everything that was negative in my life. I removed some people. In this past week, I done removed some people out of my life. Guess what happened? And uh, my coach, uh, one of my coaches, ended up having built, introducing me to this platform he built that brings all of my contacts and my funnels, my website, everything to market my business better. I was like, holy shit. So I signed up for it, got on it. I'm like, all right, cool. So this weekend, I'm transferring everything over to this, which I'm going to talk about y'all to y'all later. Y'all going to be seeing some new stuff from your boy. 
So I'm transferring everything over. I'm going to bust my ass and follow my schedule. I wrote out a, list, a schedule. Like, when I tell y'all I wrote out a goddamn schedule, I'm going to show y'all. Because I'm, God damn it, I can't tell y'all to do it if I don't live it, damn it. So I wrote out everything. Oh, oh shit, talk can't see it. I wrote everything, right, from when I wake up. See, these are my habits. My, God damn it. These are my, God damn it. These, God damn it. Shit, you can't see it. But yeah, I wrote out everything. From like gratitude and love for day, meditate, exercise, do my Spanish class, read, watch my videos on reconstructing my my mental, work on my business, reprogram my RS. I do this stuff every day. I have home. when I wake up, stretch, meditate, market, read, breakfast, walk to the trunk, study with my coach, work on my business. Like I have everything to the T. Because the man said, if you follow everything, right? There's no way I can't reach that goal. So like I'm telling y'all, when you want to hit your fitness goal, how can you make it impossible not to reach it? You got to write out everything. I mean, everything, detail, like in detail, how can I reach this goal to make it impossible for me not to reach it? Because if there's a possibility for you not to make it, goddamn, you got to fix that. You got to dive deep. You can't have vague goals, right? That's what I want us to focus on today. I want y'all to write y'all goals on because goddamn it, guess what? Next weekend, not now. When we talk on these calls this week, I'm asking y'all what y'all goals are, right? And I want to hear detail, damn it. Detail. I want to hear like, oh, I just want to reach this goal, Bob. No, I ain't taking that shit. Y'all coming with that? You got burpees, 100 of them, straight up. All right. And I'm going to watch you doing it. Goddamn, we're going to do it on FaceTime or Zoom. All right. So I want y'all to write out y'all goals. I'm going to give y'all what time it is. Do I have time? Shit, I ain't got time. All right. Uh, is there a template or example uh, of the of setting the goal? I don't even have, because I've been doing this all day. But what I'm going to say, what I'm, I'm going to write it on Discord. I'm going to give you an example on Discord, all right? So, because I could make a video, but it's going to cut into my run. It stopped raining. So I'm going to run after this. I got to stick to my schedule. I got to stick to my schedule to make it impossible for me not to be fat. And people to clown me, I got to make it impossible for me not to reach the goal in the month of October. October, so I have to follow my schedule all the way through. So, but I'm going to put in the Discord this goal, like this goal for this weekend, our homework of how y'all can achieve the goal which one to achieve and how to make it impossible not to reach it. If you follow these steps, I guarantee you that y'all gonna hit this goal. But also, I don't want no small ass goal. I don't want something that's so easy to obtain. You have to set a goal that's so big, it's in, it, you're incapable of achieving it right now. And you can't achieve it right now. That example of that is, let me make $1,000 in a month I told you. That's easy, man. I can make $1,000 like that. I just got to sign up three people. Easy. I can mouthpiece people. You feel me? That's too easy. No, it needs to be something bigger. Something that's incapable of doing right now that's going to force you to have to change to become better. It's going to force you to change, to grow. You got to have those type of goals. Don't set no small ass goals. So like a goal that you're incapable of, of achieving right now. It's going to force you to become better, right? And once you have that goal, you reverse engineer it. For like, what do you have to do to make it impossible not to achieve it, right? So like, you have to have that out. And I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to write that up on the thing so y'all can have it. So check it out. Tell your friends about it. Talk about it on IG. God damn it. I don't care what you do, but damn it. You better keep it at the forefront of your brain. Well, your RS is actually on the stem of your brain. But damn it, y'all know what I mean. You got to keep it conditioning your brain to only see the that goal coming together. Everything that's required of that goal coming together to achieve it, okay? So that's y'all homework. I know I said a lot. It was a handful. All right, cool. Um, That's our goal creation exercise. That's what I want y'all to do. Um, yeah, oh, I'm excited. Shit. All right. So we got some other, oh, any questions on it? Any questions? Any questions? We got any questions? We good? None? All right, go to All right. So we got some updates. Y'all got me geeked up. Ah! So got some updates. I already talked about, I'm transferring everything over to this new platform. So y'all going to be getting text messages and emails about everything, about when y'all schedule y'all stuff, y'all have reminders. Uh, we, uh, with text and email, um, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a lot easier on my end. So a lot of things gonna look different. Uh, I can't even explain to you all right now because I just joined the platform yesterday. 
and I'm spending this weekend transferring the entire business over to that. So the more I figure out all the features that it had, because the main features that it had that I like that made me want to switch over was basically how I can communicate with you all a lot better. And how can I be on top of making sure you all become the person that you desire to be, right? So as far as the website, we'll see how they say, look, it may not look as cool no more or whatever it may do. So I'm going to just switch everything over. Um, but the objective is, it's fourth quarter, like I said, baby. My objective is to make sure you all become the best version of yourselves and the people who aren't, they're going to fall off. And that's cool because I only want to create space for those people who want to evolve and grow. And the only way you evolve and grow is you got to let go of the trash. You feel me? Like I said, you got to get negative people out your life. I got to get rid of the people who don't want it because it's jam fam, baby. Damn it. We got to get this shit, right? So every week, you're on these calls to get y'all to become better and what you need it, right? Every week, we're going to have some type of homework. Don't even look at, God damn, yes, yeah, homework. Because homework is how you study. That's how you become better. How you pass school is by doing homework. Y'all in school of life right now, health and wellness. Damn it. So the only way you're going to get better is doing this goddamn homework. You feel me? Damn. All right? So y'all got your homework for this weekend. I'm geeked up. I got y'all homework this weekend. All right? Get these goals done today. Like, sit down and find time. Get, if, you, if you can't sit down and give yourself one hour to make a plan for the fourth quarter, with a goal that you're incapable of accomplishing right now, you don't deserve it. You feel me? Because if you can't give yourself an hour of time, you, you dedicate an hour to TV, dedicate an hour to bullshit, dedicate an hour to shit that's just wasting time. If you can't dedicate one hour today, one hour, and it may not even take you an hour to even do this because the shit easy because your brain, your brain already is ready to receive and give you what you need because why are we talking about it now? So as your brain is trickling right now, it's creating the pathway towards the goal that you might be thinking about. But I want you to go bigger than what the goal you have right now. Because I'm telling you, if you go bigger, you're going to go harder, baby. It's for harder. Yeah. All right? So keep that in your mind. And like, give yourself that hour. Because you must have this goal. This goal got to be a must. You can't just want this shit. This goal got to be something you must have by that date, that end date. You feel me? Ooh, I'm get myself fired up. Fuck, I'm ready to work on my business. All right? You got to have that end goal, right? And it got to be a must to get it. You feel me? So write them goals out there. Give yourself an hour. Think about what you want. Set it. Write it down because writing is power. And, and I want you to look at that goal on a consistent basis every day. So you can train your RAS to like, this is what I got to do. Like you read it once a day. Read it twice a day. Read it three times a day. I don't give a damn how many times you read it. Read it a hundred times a day. That shit really going to be stuck in your head. And every time you feel like you're hitting a wall that you, when you're hitting that resistance that we talk about, if you feel like you're hitting that resistance, man, go back and look at your goal. And every time you feel those emotions erupting, say some shit like I do. Damn it, everything always working out in my favor. Damn it, I'm always reaching my goals. Why do I, why does so much good shit always happen to me? I'm telling you, you're going to start to only see good shit happening to you. You're going to see the pathway to your goal being revealed in front of you. I. Right? Keep that at the forefront of your mind. Don't uh, don't complain about shit because life happens to us all. When we complain about it, our RAS is going to only find most shit to complain about. And when we start complaining about most shit, we're going to attract complaining ass people. We're going to attract more shit that we don't do. And guess what? Our goal that's about to break the surface is going to that shit going to drown. Damn it! Look, I want to learn how to swim. That's my goal for next year. But think about this. All right, keep that at the forefront of your mind. Less. Work on the today, that hour, keep reiterating this, that hour today, and I'm going to ask y'all answer tomorrow, did y'all do that hour? Because if you tell me you didn't, or if you lie to me, you're going to feel bad on the inside. But if you tell me you didn't do it, I'm going to be a disappointed. I'm Because y'all on this motherfucking call, I'm going to be disappointed. Don't disappoint, bravo. Goddamn, I'm going to make your work out hard as hell. Feel me? Yeah. Because I want y'all to be y'all best selves. Because when y'all look good, that make me look good, goddamn it. I love when y'all be like, Bravo, I'm looking better. I'm feeling better. that shit make me feel like a demand. God damn it. I do this for my own self-gratification. That's why I want to help y'all so much. Because I want y'all to praise y'all selves. And people be like, oh, girl, you look good. Your trainer did a good job. That shit make me feel good. And I want, I like feeling good. Y'all can't tell? Shit. Do this shit. and make me feel good. Shit. All right? So that's good what we got. Y'all got any questions? We good? We Gucci?
Good shit. All right, good shit. All right. Don't play yeah, that was good. Thanks, right. Bravo. That was a good talk. Damn, damn. <laughs> yeah, hey, definitely fired up. Fired up for sure. <laughs> Look, look, man. It's four quarter. Look, I, I look, man. I got the negative people out of my life, and I'm only focused on what matters. Y'all are what matters. God damn it! Because I want to give. I want to see people live an amazing life. Because my life is dope as fuck. And the way we get that is starting with our health mindset. God damn it! I'm trying to be the one to help y'all get that. All right, so we're gonna pray it up, and then we're gonna start y'all on y'all day. Remember, get that hour in, baby. Come today, God, give a thanks for this wonderful day of life we've been blessed with. Give a thanks for the strength and energy to get on this call and be open to receiving the information. Also, give thanks for the words that came off my tongue, because I probably might not remember later, but I got it recorded, Lord. Pray that you remove all stress, anxiety, fears, doubts, or insecurity maybe within our lives, and you replace it with peace, confidence, and faith. And we challenge ourselves to be the best expression that we possibly can be, to be that example for others that look up to us that we do not see watching us. And we stay consistent with our goals that we set for ourselves and set these goals so big that it makes us nervous when we think about it from time. But we have in reverse engineered the process to make sure that it's impossible that we cannot fail. Pray to bless everyone, relationship with their family, friends, associates, coworkers, enemies, all those that they come into contact with. And you bless us all. But good health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and a whole lot of money. Jam. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all schedule them call, but I'm about to go on the Discord right now and put the uh the homework up that we got in detail so y'all can follow that. And if y'all forget or whatnot, just send me a message and everything. I'll be, I'm going to run for an hour. It's going to probably take about 20 minutes walking back. But I'm going to run my six miles and I'll be at my computer doing transferring the business over for the remainder of the day. So just hit me up, but I'm about to go put it in a Discord, read the damn Discord, you know, because if I put it on Discord and you ask me a question that I already answered on Discord, I'm going to be disappointed. Don't disappoint me. All right? I love y'all. All right, see y'all later. Damn. Bye.